Hello my horror movie fans, appreciate you clicking on this video. We just got the trailer for the second Winnie the Pooh horror movie. And if you've ever wondered what a $1 million weenie looks like, there it is! I have Loki kind of been looking forward to see what they are doing with this second Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey movie. Because look, uh, it's no secret, if you go back and watch my review of the first movie, I was not an enjoyer of it. I was pretty let down by that film, I was all for the concept of Winnie the Pooh being turned into some sort of slasher. But to me, the film lacked creativity and it felt like the easiest cash grab to just make money off people buying tickets just for the curiosity of what does a Winnie the Pooh horror movie look like? And well, since that movie made $5 million on a $50,000 budget, this time around for the sequel, they were given a $1 million one. And you can tell from the look of this thing, they are putting it to good use. So as I go through breaking down bits of this trailer and what we can expect from it, probably answering some of your questions you have about this, I want to know from you guys, are you curious this time? I know there was a lot of people out there like me who were kind of disappointed with that first movie. Are you willing to step back into the Winnie the Pooh horror world? Because it's not just Winnie the Pooh. This is connected to an entire cinematic universe and the post credit scene of this movie is going to reveal what other fairy tale creatures live in this universe. All right, so first things first, before even going to the actual trailer, I want want to take a gander at this amazing chaotic insane poster that they released for the movie i don't know about you but this kind of slaps we've seen so many floating head posters nowadays it's like the common trend but here what we are given i don't know why this looks exciting if this was the blockbuster days and i was a kid just walking through the horror section like i used to this would catch my eye and i'd beg my daddy to let me rent it but just seeing all the characters tigger piglet the owl winnie the pooh all here with a flaming chainsaw how do you not expect to have a good time man if this movie isn't a fun time i am gonna be so pissed okay but the official plot that was released with this trailer goes as deep within the hundred acre woods a destructive rage grows as winnie the pooh piglet owl and tigger find their homes and their lives endangered after christopher robin revealed their existence not wanting to live in the shadows any longer the group decides to take the fight to the town of ashdown home of christopher robin leaving a bloody trail of death and mayhem in their wake we and his savage friends will show everyone that they are deadlier, stronger, and smarter than anyone could ever imagine and get their revenge on Christopher Robin once and for all. Already, I'm gonna tell you, million times better plot than that first movie. Nothing against the wonderful ladies from the first Winnie the Pooh movie, but in my mind, if you're gonna turn a childhood favorite into a horror icon, at least use his characters, his world, his rules to your advantage. Nothing about Winnie the Pooh involved girls who stayed at a cabin and then all of a sudden need to be attacked. Christopher Robin was in the movie for like a total of five minutes. This time around, what they're doing, actually leaning into Christopher Robin, his background, and his history with Winnie the Pooh, because we do get shots of that in this trailer where young Christopher Robin is remembering his life and what it was like meeting Winnie the Pooh, starting that friendship, and things going viciously wrong. That to me is already 10 times more interesting than what you did the first movie. So we're already off to a great start there. The next thing I love from this trailer is the upgrade Winnie the Pooh got himself. Last time he looked like an ordinary doofus wearing that yellow bear mask, and now they have actual prosthetics work that makes it more believable that this is a humanoid bear come to life instead of just a guy in a mask. The little moment we get in this trailer where you get to hear the crinkling of his fur and skin, oh great. <laughs> I'm loving the look of Winnie the Pooh this time around in all the different ages. Because like I said, we'll see him when he's young and we'll see him when he's old Pooh. I don't even want to imagine what $50,000 Tigger or Owl would have looked like. Because right now, Tigger is looking great. Now, the character of Tigger was not public domain when the first movie came out. That's why he wasn't included in there along with Owl. But now, after a couple years, he has entered the public domain. So they can use him for this movie. And I just got a feeling he's going to be a fan favorite for a lot. That one scene of him just standing in a hallway and you see his tail waggling in the background with some CGI? I want to see that. I want to see Tigger go crazy. In the IGN article, they did say this about him. They said, Tigger is incredibly violent. He loves to torture his victims before killing them. So yeah, anytime Tigger is on screen and it's time for him to go after somebody, he's going to be playing with his food and he's going to have fun doing it. There's also even a snippet in this trailer where you get to hear Tigger speak. <sighs> Yeah. 
And that's so awesome that they're going to let the characters talk more in this movie because Winnie the Pooh really only talked to the end of the last movie. This trailer didn't give us the best look of Owl, but we already got a behind the scenes look of the Owl prosthetics and I think he looks great. Some people from the trailer said he looks like a Jeepers Creepers ripoff. Eh, whatever. It's still a unique design that I'm enjoying. But okay, aside from all the Winnie the Pooh related characters coming in here, I also kind of dig just the look of the movie. It's definitely not to studio standards just yet. One million dollars is still pretty low budget for a movie, but at least it looks more like a real movie this time. Because the one big praise I did give to that original Winnie the Pooh is that I thought they made the lighting and atmosphere of that movie at least look decent. And here they're continuing with that. There's some shots in here that look kind of cool. Not to mention all the gory kills that they're teasing us with. And we know they like to use prosthetic work. And that's my favorite kind of kills that we get from low budget horror movies. One involving Winnie the Pooh grabbing a freaking bear trap and removing someone's head. That's like, yep, perfect. Bear using a bear trap great. Not to mention the moment Winnie the Pooh's gonna be wielding a freaking flaming chainsaw. Take that, Texas Chainsaw Massacre! Winnie the Pooh's got a fiery chainsaw. Like, I am gonna be severely disappointed if this movie doesn't turn out as fun as it's looking. Because this time, this movie not only just looks watchable, it looks fun. And that was also a big complaint I had about the first movie. You took the premise a little too seriously. That whole scene where Winnie the Pooh is, like, torturing Christopher Robin, I was like, ugh, this is, this is not even fun, this is just sad. But here, it looks like they know, let's just have fun with this universe let's get silly let's get ridiculous with it we have the money to make it look nice and man do they got me hook line and sinker this is like the junky trash that is gonna make some kid who thought he liked Winnie the Pooh but wouldn't mind seeing him stab some people and then in 10 years this will be a new cult classic or it'll be a giant embarrassment we never think about again now when this movie releases which I believe is March 26 that still seems to be the release date right now they're saying in the post credit scene they're gonna give you a sneak peek to the other fairy tale creature that will be seen grow in this universe. We know Bambi the Reckoning is a movie that's currently filming. We've gotten a photo from that set. No look of what Bambi's gonna look like yet. They did release a photo of what the Peter Pan horror movie is gonna be looking like. This is what they're going for for Peter Pan, the concept. And funny enough, the actor who plays Christopher Robin in this Winnie the Pooh movie, Scott Chambers, he's the one directing Peter Pan. And then we also got the logo and sneak peek of the Pinocchio horror movie called Pinocchio Unstrung. Now, since these are just concept sketches in the actual post credit scene they're saying they'll reveal the actual look of them so we'll see Pinocchio, Peter Pan or maybe other characters but I'm just curious on what path they're taking is this going to be like an Avengers team up where all these fairy tale creatures go to one giant town and just start massacring for fun or is this going to be like a Freddy versus Jason setup because that's kind of what I would want to see more Winnie the Pooh and his gang of characters versus like Peter Pan and the Lost Boys fight or maybe Pinocchio versus Bambi I don't know I just know if you make it fun I'll probably check it out so yeah I'm one of the crazy ones probably willing to watch this and give it a chance but I want to hear from you guys you see this trailer the giant upgrade Winnie the Pooh has gotten does it make you interested what about the horror cinematic universe aspect of it are you like I kind of want to see how that goes down or are you just still like nah Chris I I'm out I'm out but you do you man you do you. Anything and everything, be sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.